Ed Wolf. I'm with Irwin Tools, and I wanted to talk to you about some products that are absolutely needed for every gang box, every toolbox, every roller chest. This applies uh, to fixing fasteners. A lot of fasteners rules our world. Put steel products together, wood products together. But probably the hardest thing to remove is a broken fastener and a metal fabrication. And uh, the Hansen brand under the Irwin umbrella has many ways to solve those problems. The first is probably the first thing that should be in everybody's toolbox is a pair or a set, five to six pieces, sometimes you'll get three pieces of slow spiral screw, uh, screw extractors. And basically this product requires you to actually drill a hole down through a busted fastener and if this block that we've done some demos on kind of represents fasteners where the tops have been sheared off. And as you can tell, uh, these bolt fasteners no longer have a head design. And uh, what happens when you break a fastener in a big piece of steel like this? You have to use screw extractors. And the slow sprower is probably the most affordable set to have for those situations. What it requires is about three things. You have to know the diameter of the fastener. Then you pick the easy out from a chart in our Irwin catalog that will help you assist you on the size of the easy out. You drill a hole with a left-handed drill bit or a standard, what I would recommend always is a split-pointed drill bit, twist drill. And then you jam the faster inside the hole and you twist it in uh, the counter counterclockwise direction to remove it. And this is probably the simplest one, two, three method to use. But there are other ways to do this. There's also a way that if all you've done is, is round a head, maybe you've rounded a head. And I'll bring this a little closer. This represents a situation where you've rounded the head of a fastener and it's recessed into an assembly. This could be a machine, a Caterpillar tractor, uh, could be in an oil patch somewhere, could be in a chiller somewhere. So this is right up the alley of a mechanic, uh, mechanical contractor, the guy that has to go out and fix the things, the guys that installed it screwed up. Uh, but uh, a fastener that is no longer a three-quarter inch or half inch uh, hex head bolt, it is something else now. And they could have ruined it with using a pair of channel locks, a vice grip, or using the wrong impact socket and just ruined the heck out of it. How do you get a product like that out? We have another line to where if you just have a head, if you have a head that's been removed, you use what we call a deep well or a standard um, Irwin or Irwin Hansen, what we call bolt grip. And basically it looks like a socket, but if you can get a close up of the teeth, it has spiral teeth inside. And these teeth will actually fit down over the head. And uh, I have a, a, a standard item right here. Maybe you can get a better close up of that. That goes right down over the head. You tap it down with a wrench or a hammer and you begin to twist out your fastener. And it works really well. And I'll do it here. I can lock down here a little bit. Steady my action. And this is a one-step situation where you've just ruined the head. You haven't actually broken the fastener. And as you notice the square sides, you can get to it with a pair of channel locks or vice grips to do that as well. Obviously, um, we don't sell channel lock, but any type of uh, uh, plumber's wrench or uh, tongue and groove plier will work. And as you can tell, it's actually stuck on there. I can't pull it out. I'd have to take a punch and push it out. But this situation here can save you thousands of dollars a minute. If you're in a petrochemical plant and your chiller's gone down, you need to remove those bolts. Maybe it's a four, four, you know, four or five bolt pattern. Time is money. So uh, the Hanson bolt grips can save you tons of, uh, of downtime and labor. Okay? So that's one way. Now in a more professional way, what about broken fasteners that are in real tight confinements where you really can't use these longer spiral screw extractors? And sometimes uh, these five sizes will handle maybe 20 different fasteners, so it handles a range. There is a step up above these uh, if you have a lot of situations where guys are doing maintenance and doing repetitive uh, repair, and after a while the fasteners break in half, break down in the metal like I was showing you earlier in that piece of steel like this here. There are some other ways to solve that problem, and we have a set here, if I can get you to look at that. This is a master set. But what I want to show you is, these are called spline extractors. 
and each one of these represents a bolt size. And all these are marked what size range of hands, like this is a quarter inch bolt. And it, and it tells you the size of the drill to drill the hole. For example, these fit in very tight confinements and you can use them. You can use them in situations where it's machinery and you put a socket on and you can actually fit the socket over the end. Now you've got your mechanics tools in a much tighter situation or you could actually use it in a long drive. Let's say you're deep in an engine or some sort of pump or centrifugal compressor situation that you've got to fix. So you've got a small head piece spline for professional work. Now these are the guys that would buy these would be probably back at the shop or in the trucks that go out and, and fix things, not necessarily for installation. So the mechanical contractors are probably the guys that go out and fix things after the fact and maintain equipment, compressors, centrifuges, all types of things that keep things going in factories. So uh, the spline are your step up and usually they will buy large sets. Now this set here has not only the professional spline, but it has a slow spiral and it has uh, left hand drill bits designed to drill those pilot holes for these easy outs. And we also give you a set of the one step easy outs called the bolt grips, which will work if you just ruin the head. Guess what? These will actually work on security screws and torques if you forget your security hand tools to remove those situations. So these are great uh, uh, for uh, maintenance as well. But I'd recommend a set like this. You're, you're looking at three, $400 purchase. Uh, but you don't think of it in terms of purchase price, you're thinking about how many thousands of dollars it can save per hour getting equipment back up and running. And uh, mechanical contractors tend to work on uh, and, and install equipment that um, time is money and that discomfort in a high-rise building is a major factor in getting things done and fixed and back online right away. And Irwin Hansen has those tools to put you back in business.